In 2021, a deadly tornado tore through parts of western Kentucky, destroying communities and taking lives. This year, Hurricane Helene ravaged parts of the southeast, including a small community called Mountain City. After a disaster of their own, a familiar helping hand was extended. Eyewitness News' Jessica Costello is back from East Tennessee with the story. Well, the community of and surrounding Mountain City was responsible for donating thousands of dollars to Dawson Springs after that tornado. Now, a Union County ministry and volunteers wanted to extend the same helping hand after the hurricane. And you'll hear it from several people. That help was beyond appreciated. Well, just Connie, I don't want you to get up there and fall. How many more toes have we got? Uh, um, three. three. You want this? Yeah. Paper. The paper product's like this right now. All right. And I couldn't break my falls. All this was pinned up. Well, what can you see when I open the trunk of that car over there? All right, so you guys don't know each other? No. How did this happen? Through Facebook. And I asked him what he would charge me uh, to go down there, and he said, oh, maybe a little bit of fuel. He said a cup of coffee, and he said an old dried-up cheeseburger somewhere down the line. I said, well, we can do that. You're going to go down through Clay. We have got about the eight-and-a-half-hour trip. It's already been almost three weeks since it happened. It's just important to myself and my wife that we get down here and get the thanks to these people. your destination. Well, it chokes me up. It really does. To, to see it the shape that it is. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't you get in the car and drive nine hours to help somebody who really needed it? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord. Yes. Lord, for this yes. church. Lord, for this community. Lord, we thank you for... Uh, Lord, all you've done here, Lord, in spite of everything that they've been through here in the in the last few weeks. My goodness, to see that trailer rolling in and just uh, the love from the people, just it just blessed my heart and overwhelmed me with God's goodness. Doing right. Doing good, buddy. I've seen some floods before, but I never saw anything come close to that. People's houses basically washed out. See, I came back out of that down that road on my four-wheeler, and I cried. Brands and stuff like that. stuff in here. It restores my faith in humanity and the generosity of other people and their hearts going out willing to help others, especially in the world we live in today. Oh, you don't think of hurricanes coming to the mountains. <laughs> But this one did. <laughs> we didn't even dream in about support. Uh, we've always been kind of a self-sufficient people. And uh, when this happened, we uh, figured, well, uh, we'd pull together and get through it. But we never dreamed that we'd have so much support. <laughs> I've got 46 years driving a truck, and it's like the Lord said, okay, you ain't able to drive a big truck, but you can still drive us, pick up and pull a trailer behind it. Do that. You'll still be helping. Because there's still country people like we are in Kentucky. They need help. So why not help them out? We appreciate the folks in Kentucky and parts of that uh, region there that's helping us, that in the next few days when we're starting to give out the items to people that need them, it's going to be even magnified more than, more than that. Debris from Hurricane Helene still scattered across these small communities. I'm standing in what could have been several homes side by side. There's one completely destroyed right behind me and, of course, several large trees uprooted and right to the left of me another large tree uprooted completely on its side right behind it another home that looks like it was just washed right off of its platform and through and through all of the wreckage and all of the destruction signs of hope it's hard seeing somebody have something and then see it all taken away because these people are like family We're, su we're supposed to be meeting uh, Mike Fenner down here, uh, down there where the church was at. Uh, we're looking at uh, the church completely washed away. The church was here for 
80, going on 85 years. We've never seen nothing like this. Now we, uh, we, we, we don't know what we're going to do. We're just waiting on the Lord to tell us. People have lost everything uh, except the word hope. And, and seeing how much we were able to collect in such a small amount of time, it uh, really just kind of brings tears to your eyes because communities like this, um, you know, up here in the mountains, a lot of them don't get the coverage that, that you would hope when something as devastating as this happens. You know, you have to kind of remember that in situations like this, in trying times, anything, and I mean literally anything, mean everything to the people that now have nothing. I've learned and lived a lot happier life when I just give and I don't ask any questions and I just trust God to take care of it. And Troy and Robin say they're already planning their next trip in November, collecting more supplies and Christmas presents for kids in that area. If you'd like to donate, we have a link to the GoFundMe on our website, tristatehomepage.com. Back to you.